have uh, some explaining to do. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dare Bear Live. This is my YouTube channel where I just kind of do whatever. <laughs> this is the channel that I just get to let whatever lives in my brain out in a creative space. So hi, if you're subscribed to this channel, thanks. I don't know why you're here, but also I appreciate you. Last weekend was WonderCon, and I don't know if you know anything about me. I'm a big cosplay nerd slash buff. I enjoy going to the conventions that are in and around my area, and this was my second WonderCon. Usually I provide a vlog. This time I really just didn't have the brain capacity to vlog, but a lot of you like to know what I buy at cons and like what are some of the goodies that I like pick up while I'm there. So I thought like, why don't we do a little unbox? Unboxing of the stuff that I got at the con. First thing I always get asked is what were the three cosplays I went to at the con? I went to the con on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Friday, I was Engagement Jasmine. On Saturday, I was Samus in my full armor, and then I did Zero Suit Samus for a little bit, and then I did Samus full armor with glowing neon lights in the evening time, which was really great. On Sunday, I went as Froppy for My Hero Academia, which was a huge hit. People really loved me as Froppy, and yeah, it was super fun to do. People usually want to know what is the the plushie that I picked out for myself because I always buy one at each con. I don't know why, it's just like a thing that I've been doing. And I got myself a Lickitung! I picked him up on Sunday because I thought he was so cute. I've never seen a Lickitung before like this, so I thought he was super fun. He's got the little like hang, hangy thing, which makes me kind of wonder if he's like a 90s toy because I feel like the 90s ones all have like the weird hanging things on them. I don't know, I could totally be wrong. But uh, super fun, really cute, never seen him before. And I picked him up when I was dressed as Froppy. So I was like, mm, doing all the fun tongue stuff together. You're so adorable, okay. Next. I always love picking up art at the cons because there's so many amazing and talented artists there. So I picked up this really cool poster to commemorate, which I'm gonna regret opening this, I feel like, but I wanna show you what it looks like. Maybe it is like a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> Do you ever meet somebody who opens up the wrong side of the chip bag every time? That's me! This poster is to commemorate the end of an era in Pokemon because Ash is done, which I haven't seen that yet and I'd like to. It's like a cool watercolor of all the things that Ash went through and it's so cute. I mean, it's not everything, but it's so cool. I saw it when I walked by and I was like, okay, I have to have it. And my only complaint is that Gary, his head is like super big on this poster when he should be very minimal on here, but I guess he's a villain in this. So I guess he gets a good spot. At the cons, that's like one of my favorite things to do is to not only just like enjoy being a cosplayer at the cons, but I also love the shopping that's there because I always find fun plushies that I can never find anywhere online. I don't know how they end up here, but I always find unique plushies and the artwork is always phenomenal. The next thing that I picked up at the con were these little mystery boxes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which my Instagram is Dare Taylor Official, I have done two unboxings of these little Pokemon figures. I have the Raichu of the tree and then I also have the Latias at the top. So I wanted to hedge my bets and see if we can get another one to work on this little tree. And then of this cool water, Water area we have oh over here the leafy on oh maybe that's it did I only get one yeah I think I only got one of these guys so I think I only have the leafy on so I'm guessing they'll probably get something different out of this one let's open it I always love these little mystery box Pokemon figures because they're super cute and really fun it'd be awesome to complete a set but I don't know if I'll ever be able to because it's so hard to collect them all oh we got something new we got Celebi now I gotta put this all together. That's gonna take me like forever. Celebi's a good one to get. Celebi's a rare Pokemon. I actually am really looking forward to doing some cons that are outside of the state because so far I've only done cons that are here in LA, which has been really great and a good way to get my feet wet out here in LA and make some cosplay connections with other cosplayers. But now I'm definitely looking for some cons across the country, also outside of the US because I just wanna go and meet more people and network a little bit more. I just, I haven't been on my networking game lately, but I'm hoping Oh, I'm hoping to up my networking game by doing some more cons outside of the state. So if you have a good con that you would like to recommend me go to, let me know in the comments below because I'm always open to it. Look at how tiny Celebi is. 
She's like the size of my fingernails. So we're gonna be very careful. Ugh, if I could get more of this one, the set, I would be so happy because this is so cute. Look at how tiny and precious. I'm gonna be really sad if I get a duplicate already. Ugh. I don't remember how much I paid for these two. I think he wanted like $20 a box. And I was like, Ugh. but I still bought it. So it wasn't really a rip off if I've been actually casually thinking about what would we get? Who we get? We got Pikachu and Gumi. That's a score. Double wins on the mystery boxes. We didn't get a repeat. So I was actually thinking, food for thought, of here on this YouTube channel, making it more of a rotating channel where you would know that the first upload of the month, so like the first Friday of the month, you would be getting like a podcast type of scenario. And then the next one you would get is a skit. So that way I'm always like rotating through the content that I make. So then you would know like, oh, what's the next skit gonna be? Like, da da. And then you would know like what days to check things out. I feel like we should try to make this channel a little bit more organized. Cause right now it's kind of all over the place and that's fine. But I think going forward, I just like to make it a little bit more like reactionary stuff too. Minimal reactionary things. Like if I only did a reactionary thing once a week or once a month, I think that would be good. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Stop it, get out. I'm obsessed. My childhood is crying. Okay, I just need the two little teardrops. I just think it'd be really fun to do a, um, like I said, a rotating, a rotating. A rotating. Well, that one's gone into the abyss of my room. Oh no. Did you see it? Did you see wherever it went? Okay, well, like, look at this. This is like half of a half of my nail. I'm never gonna find that one. It's gone. Bye. All right. There's supposed to be two little raindrops, but that might be the best I can do till I find another guy. And the last couple of things I got from two different stands were some fun little pins. I don't know if you guys know, I have a cool little Pokemon pin collection happening on this jacket. So I've got Pikachu that turns into surfing Pikachu and flying Pikachu. I've got a cute little fat Eevee over here. I'm obsessed with him. Then I've got my awesome little fat Snorlax over here and my Starmie, so anytime I just Decided to be misty, I could just grab that off jacket. This is kind of where I've been collecting all my Pokemon pins, just cause like it's a good safe spot to put them and it's a fun little Pikachu jacket. A little denim Pikachu, he's so cute. So yeah, my plan for this channel is to do it more rotating so that way you guys get a little bit more variety. I know a lot of you have been asking for um, another skit and I'm working on that. I'm currently writing another skit. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, you guys want the astrology sign skit, so I just need to make some time to do that because I know you guys loved it and it was super fun. So I got a Teddy Ursa, which I thought he was super cute. Then I got a Froppy because no one ever makes little Froppy pins. So I don't think she's gonna go on the jacket. I think she's gonna go somewhere else. And then I got a Butterfree because like, of course, we need a cute little Butterfree pin. Bye bye, Butterfree. Everybody remembers that Pokemon episode. And then I got this cute Pokeball that says, I choose you with a little heart on it. It's so cute. So I'm gonna put those in my jacket. I wasn't a pin person until all of a sudden I saw they made Pokemon ones and I was like, sold. But yeah, I'm gonna be working on another astrology sign skit very soon. I just need a little bit more time for it. I know a lot of you want package prankers on this channel. So I think I'm gonna start posting some package prankers videos in the, the shorts feature on YouTube. It's just gonna take to uh, get those all off my um, editing software and then like re-upload them to YouTube. But yeah, I really wanna do more with Package Prankers. I'm just taking a little bit of a break. I, I just got like so busy with acting. If I'm being honest, like everybody was like, oh, she took like a break cause she was tired. I had two really, actually three really big, amazing auditions come through that really needed my time and my energy. And they were all for like huge roles. So I needed to take my time with those and I'm glad I did. Kind of glad to be back on the person personality channel because I'm getting a little sick of darewares if I'm being honest like I love my darewares channel but I I don't know I'm in a weird place with it where I feel like now that I have to upload twice a week I'm feeling a little like not I'm like just not enjoying it as much it feels like too forced it's probably gonna go back down to one upload a week on there eventually but just you know I got this lanyard of ditto because I thought it was so cute so I think I'm gonna put my froppy pin on here hey it's not the day oh my gosh look how cute she looks on there so cute, my little froppy girl on my dittos. Obsessed with that ditto, so cute. And then I also picked up this really awesome Vaporeon pin. 
Like that's such a chonky pin. I'm obsessed with it. So I was like, okay, definitely need me another chonky Vaporeon. Like look how cute. It's like a badge. Vaporeon badge, yeah. So I'm gonna put that on here too. And I'll do like an overall look at my jacket too once I'm done here. Gosh, where do I put Vaporeon? Cause I kind of put Butterfree in the middle. I want this whole jacket to be filled with Pokemon pins. I think that's my next goal. Oh, I know you guys also really enjoyed the like mukbangs that I did on here. So no worries. I'm gonna be going back to doing those again too. I just gotta like figure out how I wanna do it. Cause I, I just want this channel to be a little bit more chill. And I just want this channel to be a little bit more like unified. Like my Dear Words channel has primarily attracted a bunch of men to it, which I think is fine. But I would really love like a woman based audience too at some point, cause I don't know. I just feel like it would be fun to have some ladies on here. I'm probably gonna do more like the TikTok made me buy. I'm probably gonna do more mukbangs where I talk. And I definitely wanna do some sort of segment each month where I talk about something that's really bothering me and I do the research about it and kind of like bring you my thoughts in kind of like a podcasty format, but not really. It'll just be on YouTube and I'll visually be here, but just food for thought that that's something I'm considering doing. So put my jacket on and show you guys. Oh, my pins. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute with my Snorlax outfit that I'm currently wearing. So we've got all my guys over here. They look so good, so cute. We definitely need some something to fill in there a little bit. And then we got on this side. Yeah, it like, looks like we need to just go to town on some of these Pokemon pins. Adorable. We got Pikachu on the back. Oh my gosh, you won't believe it. I found the little water droplet. Yeah, we're gonna complete it. Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't do anything today. Okay. Yeah! Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know Dare Bear Live has had a very strange journey, but I really appreciate those of you who do join me on this channel. You can join me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv backslash Dare Bear Live. I would absolutely love to see you there, especially if you come from this YouTube channel. I'm gonna start pumping out the content about all kinds of fun things, and then it will help me decide what I wanna do on this channel. I'm so excited for you all to be here and to be watching me. So thank you so much. And yes, I do keep an eye on the comments, so be sure to leave me a fun comment of a con that you'd like me to go visit or anything that you think of. So thank you all so much. And I will see you Dear Bear Cubs in the next upload. Bye.